Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda from Crafty Fit and today we are doing a process video or at least the start of a process video. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I'm working with today. I am using one of my page kits that I have put together. So this is a picture of Miss Stella and I and we were having a ice cream date one one day after work and I just thought it was really cute and I wanted to document this. Um, and so I went ahead and, uh, printed them out kind of like side by side. So then that way I could have them both in the, in the photo. Um, so I have that. I also have these pages that I put together in a page kit. This is from Summer Fun. And so this is Echo Park and it's called Sea Treats. There's the back. Here's the front. I will be using this side. This one right here is from Summer Dreams. It is Echo Park as well. And this one is called Sweet as Summer. And I'll be using actually both sides of this um, one. So I'm gonna be using both sides. And then there's this one right here from Summer Dreams as well. It is called Painted Strokes. This is the one side and that is the other. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna be using this side right here. So, that is my papers. I'm just kind of think about like both of those are going to be showing. Um, and those are my papers I'm working with. Today's main focus is going to be using Project Life cards. So I pulled a couple of Project Life cards. I also have some little like three by four cards from collections. So I have this Love, Love, Love from Maggie Holmes. This one is from the Carousel Collection. I think this one's from Carousel as well. And then these were actually just like in my stash. And guys, like look how well those colors go together. Um, I basically went off of this page right here because a lot of these page, a lot of these colors are already in this uh, page as well since they're all from the same collection. Love that. And then there's this one as well. So I won't be using all of these, or maybe I will, I don't know, but my main focus is to try to use these up on this layout. I'm super excited to be breaking into some of my Project Life cards because I don't really do Project Life. I use them and some of them are in like cut aparts, so I have a whole bunch of them that I want to try to use up. I also pulled some um, thickers for my title. I don't know if I'm going to pull, I'm going to see if I can try to find an orange one um, because I think orange might actually look a lot better with this. There is some orange and yellow um, in the color combination. So I did pull some from the blue and so I have those as options. And then I also have this one right here that is like multicolored and fun. So and I might have a, another one to go with it. Like I said, might have an orange one. I also pulled a couple of things, not too much, just because I kind of just want to play. Um, I pulled these Dear Lizzie stickers. I thought the, these went really well with the collection. And so if I can add a few of them onto this layout, that would be a lot of fun. And then I pulled these Amy Tangerine. I think that these are from like light, slice of life or something like that. Um, I believe so. So I pulled it basically for this little guy. It really matches really well. And then I could also use the camera and maybe this little saying right here that says looking on the bright side of life as a choice you'll never regret. But mainly for that guy right there. I also had to pull these. These are from Michael's. So I'm probably most likely going to be using this one right here. And maybe this pink one with some sprinkles on it. And then the white with the pink on it. Love, love, love that. But we will see maybe some more will be added on to that. And then last but not least, I do have this Project Life um, confetti from... Uh, I don't even know. This is just like one of those Project Life from Becky Higgins. Um, and I still have a few left of this uh, little sticker sheet. So... I want to try to get some of these used up because this one has been in my stash for a while. So I have something old, something new. This is new. This is semi-new. Um, and I'm just playing with paper and Project Life cards. So be back and see what we have. I also, oh, forgot. I am including a um, punch. This is the punch right here. Kaleidoscope. It is by, I want to say EK, 
Oh no, Fiskars. It's right there, Amanda. Duh. Um, so I'm going to be using this, but I'm going to be using it in a different way. Um, I have a plan, so hopefully it comes intuition. So, um, that is my plan. I will be back and show you guys my progress. Um, it will probably be later on, but I just wanted to film this so that way I can get it up and show you guys what I'm working with and I'll be back. All right. I am back. So I went ahead and I did a lot of things, just not, um, gluing everything down. So the first thing I did is I used my scallop punch on the page and I kind of made like three little banners and you will see they're kind of like on top of each other to make it look like um, an ice cream um, store or cart. Uh, it just, it looks really, really cute. So I like that um, a lot. It's really, really cute. I'm thinking I'm going to add a little strip of blue up there just to kind of um, bring it down a little bit because, or end it, I guess I should say, because right now it just looks like it flows off of the page. So I kind of want to add something up there. And so I'm thinking maybe that will go up there. Um, I, let me just go ahead and move this out of the way. I went ahead and I rounded some corners and I'm thinking I'm going to round the corners in my page or my, um, photo too, and then round the corners on all of these, except for, um, except for right, like right here, it's going to be the four corners. I'm probably going to round. I have this ice cream. Uh, page on the back as just like a strip and then I have these little strips which I might actually flip them over and do the blue I'm gonna see what that looks like let me see no I don't know I still kind of like the different colors but we'll play around and we will see what it looks like let's see I don't know that might be cute I might do that. Uh, that way it kind of all kind of goes together instead of bringing in that next, this pattern down here. Um, so I have that, I'm going to round the corners. I have two sheets of, two pieces of my um, three by four cards. And so I'm just gonna kind of cover them up and I'm not worried about this white over here because I will, um, probably do a cluster right here and then what I will do next um, and then what I did next actually is I used the carousel paper and I just kind of cut it in half and that is one good thing about um, using those cards that sometimes you can use a whole card like this and sometimes if you like a pattern on it you can always cut it in half and have half of it showing on each side of your photo so I'm going to glue that down. Um, this is my, uh, my title is ice cream date. And I'm thinking I want to have it kind of like right there. Um, I went back and forth between having the blue and I pulled out, like I said, some orange, but I didn't have a, a in the orange. So I didn't want to like mess with it. And I knew I could probably make an A out of one of those, but I went ahead and I did the, the blue. I don't know which ones these are called. Oh, sketchbook. So I did that. They almost do look like they're kind of like on a sketchbook. So I think that's really, really cool. I'm thinking I am going to embellish after the gluing everything down. So my plan is to make a cluster up here or actually make a cluster over here, make a cluster down here and make a cluster over here. So then that way um, it will be like a visual triangle. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do that or I might bring this down a little bit and then make a cluster right here, cluster right here or cluster right here we'll figure it out. <laughs> um, right now I'm just kind of playing with my stuff. So this is all what I have. I'm thinking, like I said, I'm definitely going to pull off some of these. 
Um, but I will definitely show you guys once I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue everything down but my title because I might want to move it around a little bit. So I will be back and I will show you guys what it looks like um, once it's embellished with some of this stuff. Okay, everybody. So we are back. This is what I have so far. Um, I really like how it turned out. I had a little bit of a struggle because I wanted another cluster and I wasn't sure if I wanted it down here or up here. I decided that the uh, title will get two of these ice creams. And so I went ahead and I added a few of these um, to the um, layout. And so I just basically added, this is so good, daydreaming and best day. Um, in different colors and I brought the blue like the dark blue down here because it wasn't down here so I have a rep representation of kind of the colors that are on here so you have the pink you have that orange you have that blue and then you have the dark blue all in one little cluster and so if you ever uh, this is something that I have learned from Janet from RTS that if you ever feel like you can't have an idea of what you want for a cluster look at what is already done so I went ahead and I added a um a little uh, ice cream I added a little bit of chipboard I added one of these puffy stickers right here because there's a puffy sticker up here and then I added the home on here as well because we are at home it's a date night it's an ice cream date night at home um so it kind of represents the story. Um, I want to tell my story right here or I might tell it right here. Who knows? I'm going to uh, do that later on. Um, that is something that I'm working on really hard in 2021 is um, focusing on my journaling too because I can sit here and I can scrapbook all day long. And then it's just pictures that I know the story, but some people might not know it. So um, it's important to do that. So I went ahead and I'm going to place my journaling right here. I have a chipboard piece down here that says lovely. Um, I do not have a chipboard piece up here, but that's okay because we do have the chipboard as the title and that is the main focus up there. So I'm okay with not having a chipboard. I have one down here. Uh, like I said, another puffy. So I did use a lot of these up. I can see these, um, this one right here and this blue one, I can definitely see these on a, um, 4th of July or a uh, Labor Day or Memorial Day layout. So that'll be a lot of fun to use. And then I can use the other ones, of course, whenever I want. I did use a couple of these, so I'm getting pretty low. I wanted to use this Polaroid, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it. If I am, it would be on the side, and I just feel like it's going to be a little bit too much. So we're going to leave it in there. Okay, and then I did pull out some Marshy, and this is actually, I think, from Chanel, and it's got a little bit of sparkle. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's super cute. So I am going to just go ahead, and this has been a thing of mine, is adding some Marshy to my layout. So I think I'm going to maybe put some right here, right there. I'm going to put some up here. And I might put some up on the banner up here, kind of where the blue and the, let's put it on, let's put it on that side. Yes. Okay. And then we'll put one up here. So we have a visual triangle in that, and it kind of is wherever the dark blue is at. I'm going to make a big one for this one, a long one. There we go. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put all this down. I am going to add some uh, enamel dots to them. I'm thinking I'm going to do blue. Um, and I think that's too dark. I think I'm going to add 
actually, I think I'm going to add this blue right here. So I have to go back to um, the store and get more of them. So I'm going to actually add three over here, three over here, and three up here. And that's it, guys. That is all that I'm going to do um, as far as this layout. I really like how it turned out. Um, super cute, super fun, super colorful. It tells a story. I think that is the most important thing, um, is telling the story. So I'm just going to kind of put everything down. I don't know if I wanted that down there. I might want it up a little bit more. There we go. Maybe up that way. You know what? That works. So this chipboard is kind of sticky, so I have to remember that I want it to go There we go. Now, this actually has to be I'm going to take this piece off and put some glue. So that way um it's not as dimensional. And that is one thing that you can do is let me see. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Okay, sorry. So like I was saying, one thing that you can do is these are really, really dimensional stickers. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is like, there was two of these squares. And so it was one on top of the other. I went ahead and I just took one piece off and I am going to just kind of overlay that like that. And I'm going to do that for all of them just because I don't want it too dimensional. I love having dimension, do not get me wrong, but sometimes when you add a little bit too much dimension, it's just too much for your layout. And yeah, you just need a little bit of dimension sometimes. And that's all I need for this layout because I really want the main focus to be on the pictures. So. I will, I took that piece off and this one looks like it's actually three pieces. So that's okay as long as it's staying down. But for this one, I probably most likely will take that one off and then I'll take this one off too. And then I'm going to call that good. I'm going to add a little bit of these, like I said, just three little clusters. And that's it, guys. It's simple as that. Um, let's go ahead and add one little cluster down here. I still have to go through and glue all that down. But we're just going to add three little ones down there. And over here, we'll do three. And I really, really like these, um, these enamel dots from, oh gosh, where are these from? I think they're from Hobby Lobby. They're amazing. I love them. Get them when they're on sale because they're super inexpensive then. So, all right, guys. And then I'm going to add three more up here and that's going to be it. I'm going to be done with this layout. Turned out super cute. Super excited with how it turned out. Let me know what you thought of the layout. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you want to see more process videos um, and you don't want to miss another video. And I'll talk to you later. Bye!